Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another weekend of Fatima Elizabeth Frontistory. Today and this month, as a matter of fact, is actually a very important month. I'm not referring to October, but the Islamic month of Rabi'ul Awwal. We're just a few days into the month. What makes this month very special is that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born on this month. It was the year 570 or 571, common era. And it was a Monday and it was the 12th of this very month, Rabiul Awal, that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born. What that means for us as Muslims, it is a time to stop and reflect. Reflect over the greatest human being to, to ever live, to ever walk the surface of this earth. And what made him so great? Okay, What made him so great? We need to reflect over how he lived his life in the midst of turmoil. Okay, um, There's always going to be evil in the world. There's always going to be corruption in the world. There's always going to be bad in the world. How did our Prophet wasallam deal with it? Okay, It is said that um, when Alexander the Great was crossing over Arabia, he looked towards the desert and did not bother with the Arabs at the time because of how wayward they were, because of how uh, much injustice was prevalent in Arabia. And it's amongst these people that Prophet ﷺ was sent by Allah as a messenger to guide them. And he's not only a messenger for them, but a messenger for entire mankind, rahmatul lil alameen. He is a mercy for the mankind. So I want to reflect over his early life just before prophethood. He looked around him and there was evil everywhere. There was bad everywhere. People were burying their daughters alive. People were enslaving free people. They were fighting. They were bullying. They were killing for not for, for, for no good reasons. And it made Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sad. And it made him therefore reflect over how this could change. As Muslims, we learn from this in itself. That evil cannot remain evil. And Muslims not do anything about it. Okay, We as Muslims cannot tolerate bad. We cannot tolerate injustice. And we cannot tolerate anything that goes against the natural order of the world, that goes against Allah and His commandments. So Prophet Wasallam he would reflect over how change could you know, be brought about in his city. And remember, uh, Mecca is the mother of all cities, Ummul Qura, as it's described in the Quran. Therefore, you change Mecca, you change the world. And this is exactly what Prophet ﷺ did. He would go up into the cave of Hira and there he would meditate. He would take time out and reflect. Take time out from all the, you know, the, the, the difficulties that were there in the world. Similarly, let's fast forward to 2022. Today, this day, we are also going through different difficulties. We are human. We are insan, as it's called. And we will also have different kinds of trials, different kinds of hardships. We have to learn, we have to go back to the life of Prophet ﷺ and learn from him. Okay? Today, we face so many difficulties, so many challenges because of social media, because of various different things coming out of social media, all the pressures, how we should look, how we should eat, how we should do anything. Every time we eat our food or go out, we think it's time to take a picture. We think we need to take a picture of this so that our friends can know what we are doing, so that we can show off in front of them. Those pressures build up. Okay, those pressures build up. Remember, Prophet ﷺ, he defied all the norms, the evil norms of society at the time. And it's a message for us that we too need to follow in the footsteps of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because all these forms of media will one day come to an end. Okay? They will one day finish. Uh, our lives will come to an end. One day they will finish. But 
the good deeds that we do, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He doesn't look at how much money you have in your pocket. He doesn't look at how you look from the outside. He looks at two things, okay? He looks at how good we are, all the good actions that we are doing, and also our hearts, okay? How clean are our hearts? And this is something we need to learn from our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this month. How do we go to school and not be <clears throat> taken aback by the ideas, by the ideologies, be taken aback by the social media impact that may be coming our way? We need to be able to defy all of that and go against the waves, not go with the wave, but go against the wave. Then, then, only then, we will become closer to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we will, like him, try and bring even a minuscule, a very small amount of change. Okay? And, you know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is known as Rahmatul Lil Alameen, a mercy for mankind. And this is what we need to try and reflect in our lives. Every second, when you go to school, when you come out of school, when you go home, think about how much of that mercy do I have in me and how much of that mercy is being reflected onto others. So it's a very important month. The day of the birth of Prophet Wasallam is very important. Inshallah, today you'll be having a lesson or next week you'll be having a lesson on the life of Prophet Wasallam. Don't just restrict yourself to the learning in the madrasa. Try and find a book about Prophet Wasallam. Try and find a book about him. Uh, try and find out who he was. Okay? You may want to watch a film that's recommended by your ustads that teach you more about Prophet ﷺ. We need to fall in love with Prophet ﷺ because he once said, um, you don't have total faith or complete faith until I am more beloved to you than yourself. And this is what we do. We give up our lives for our Prophet ﷺ. And live a life full of prophetic mercy, full of prophetic rahmah. So, inshallah, this week, when you go to school, think every second. When I'm sitting down, do I embody that mercy of the Prophet? Do I embody that kindness of the Prophet When I talk to my mum or my dad, when I talk to my sister or my brother, my uncle or auntie, am I embodying that mercy? So... That's what I would like you to reflect on first. How can you bring some of that mercy and reflection onto or into your lives and how that can reflect onto others okay? and not be phased by what the world throws at you? Okay, Use Prophet Wasallam's life not only as a shield but as a weapon that fights back. Okay? But it's a weapon of mercy and rahmah. Jazakallah. My, may Allah give me the ability to act upon this and all of us the ability to also reflect over this beautiful month and most importantly, the beautiful soul, the beautiful human, the, the most beautiful human who ever walked the surface of this earth, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.